Hello everybody, my name is Jenny and I'm on the eternal journey of dieting in life. <laughs> Let me just say the upside of this is to be the eternal dieter is that I would be carrying a good extra 10 pounds than I do because at least I'm kind of aware even though it ends up being somewhat of a yo-yo diet the yo-yo does always come back up unless you're doing the walk the dog <laughs> and occasionally there's short periods in time in my life where I'm doing the walk the dog but eventually I bring it back up again um, and um, yeah so although it's not recommended for anybody and that should not be what you're doing um, and I'm certainly not recommending it either I will admit that at least if dieting wasn't on my brain at all times and I wasn't trying even if failing is part of it if I didn't always get back up on the horse and try I would be a lot larger than I am so I'm gonna take that as a little nugget of <laughs> making myself feel better on the downside days okay um, I do want to say the last video that I did I did during a class right now I have a 30 minute period of time where there is no class I totally messed up last time and somebody booked me last minute and I didn't refresh my browser so I didn't see it so I not only didn't get paid for that time which I wouldn't have anyway but I got a, a penalty I think I got charged ten dollars for not showing up for the class so um, that became an expensive video because I just paid ten dollars to post that video on top of it I think you only get like two times that you cannot show up before your contract is in fear of not getting renewed and that was my second one because I did it earlier the exact same thing I'm not sure if I was actually recording a video or just doing other things but I gotta keep it together or I'm gonna lose my job alright so um, which stinks because I teach so many classes you know I teach like I don't know between 50 between 50 and 70 classes a week so over a six month period of time to mess up and not be there twice is not the end of the world all right um, let's get going here my cat's gonna jump up on me any second I can see her getting ready to pounce um, I believe I've introduced you to her before. Her name is Cosette. We're going to talk about vitamins today. Uh, and it's not a very large section. But, I, whoa, but she jumped half up and was hanging there. Oh, now she's on my earphones. Okay, let's get off. Come here. Come here. I'm sorry, everybody. This is not ideal. This is Cosette. Say hello, Cosette. She actually is very sweet, but she's still a kitten, so she likes to play with cords and play with toes and run around and sometimes jump up on my desk and run, ruin all the papers as I'm in the middle of teaching. She doesn't know any better. Poor thing. Okay, so we're going to talk about vitamins today. I'm sorry. And, uh, and it's not very long, which is probably why I'm just sitting here chatting away. Um, but I found it interesting. I'm going to read it directly from the protocol, and then we can discuss if we agree or disagree with what it says. So here we go. The topic in this area of the protocol is vitamins and anemia, which I take seriously because I've been anemic at different points in my life. Um, prone to it. My... There goes the cat knocking things down. Um, my daughter... Um, has to take not iron supplements but um, vitamins with high iron in them herself my cat was just anemic as I took her to the vet last Friday so <laughs> it runs in the family <laughs> all right uh, vitamins and anemia here we go it says sooner or later most patients express a fear that they may be running out of vitamins or that the restrictive diet may make them anemic on this score, the physician can confidently relieve their apprehension by explaining that every time they lose a pound of fatty tissue, which they do almost daily, only the actual fat is burned up. All the vitamins, the proteins, the blood, the minerals, which the tissue contains in abundance, are fed back into the body. 
actually a low blood count. Hmm. All low blo blood count. Not due to, okay, sorry. Actually a low blood count not due to any serious disorder of the blood forming tissue improves during treatment. And we have never encountered a significant protein deficiency nor signs of a lack of vitamins in patients who are dieting regularly. Hmm. And that's all it says. All right, so here are the comforting things about this. So it, it's nice to get the reassurance and know that according to his studies that the, the weight you're losing is, not, again, it's not muscle, it's fat weight loss, which is what the greatest thing about this diet is, is that you're maintaining your muscle mass and just losing fat. Um, um, he confirms that the vitamins, proteins, and minerals are all can still back in the body and you're, you're maintaining that. Okay, so that's what the protocol says. Now I will digress and just talk about what I say. And again, not a medical professional. Consult your physician before doing this diet. Consult your physician during the diet. And um, I'm just sharing information. I'm just reading what the protocol says and I'm reflecting on my own opinions of it. Not telling you what you should do. Make your own decisions. Educate yourself. Uh, before you do the diet. Okay. Now that being said, um, I appreciate the fact that he's pointing out, you know, I'll, I'll, you're not, you shouldn't be losing um, any blood source. You shouldn't be losing any muscle. You shouldn't be losing any um, areas that contain vitamins and minerals in your body. You should just be losing the fat, which doesn't contain the vitamins and minerals. So everything is fine. However, there are many of us that even when we're not on this diet and we're eating more foods, we're not getting the adequate amount of vitamins and minerals from those foods, um, unless you're just really good at eating. And if you're really good at eating, you're probably not on this diet and you're probably not dealing with um, significant extra weight that you need to lose, right? So. Um, I personally take a multivitamin every day on this diet. I do. I try to take one every day anyway. Um, just because I know I don't always eat the healthiest. And I think if you would take all the food that I eat and then look at all of the actual minerals and, and vitamins that are in it, that I'm not hitting the 100% of the amount that I should be having every day. So taking one multivitamin every day help supplement that and give me whatever I don't need. And we know that your general vitamins that you get in a multivitamin um, are not harmful to you, that if your body gets too much of them, that it flushes it back out. Um, so I'm not taking, I'm not going and taking anything specific like an extra thousand milligrams of something or an extra thousand milligrams. I'm just taking a multivitamin and a good multivitamin, one that says that it's covering close to 100% of all the different areas. I also make sure my multivitamin has iron in it because I have to make sure that I uh, get enough iron in my diet. So that's what I do. And I'm not making recommendations to anybody, but if I were to make a recommendation, I would say take a multivitamin. <laughs> and I would say that on almost every other vlog and blog and uh, different protocols and H uh, C G 2.0 and a lot of other things I've read online, almost all of them say take a multivitamin too. I mean, it's preventative, right? It's not going to be harmful to you, so um, do what's best for you, but I find taking it's important. So I, I read this and I understand what he's saying. I just don't know I, I get that the diet is not taking away extra vitamins. I just don't know if the diet is enough to give you enough of the nutrients and vitamins in and of itself to keep replenishing where, um, you know, the muscle in your blood source and where those vitamins and minerals are. I, I feel like they're going to get depleted because of the sheer restricted amount that's going into your body, in my opinion. So take that as you will. 
that's what it says under the category of vitamins and anemia on the protocol and you do you boo <laughs> and I'll be in touch with you again soon about uh, some more on the diet I think that uh, the next category we're gonna be talking about are the first few days of treatment and what he has to say about that okay that's all for today happy dieting to all of you good luck stay on track Holidays are coming up. Now's a good time to lose before we get into those holidays. Take care. Where's my button to click off? Goodbye. <laughs>